Do you like what you're hearing, Tony? Uh, and I don't know if you if you heard the interview that we did with uh, Philip Ryan at the beginning of the show. Uh, at one to five, a ranking for counties depending on the the rates of COVID within them. Uh, a simple system, it sounds like, but with 26 counties and one to five as, as a ranking, it could be a, a system of complicated moving parts. Do you think that's a good approach? Or is there something more general we need to be doing other than just reinforcing the messaging around, around social distancing, etc.? Well, I gather what they're trying to do is mirror the type of alert system we have for adverse weather events and, you know, heavy rain and wind and so on. And we, we've all learned to relate to that colour coding type of system. So it may be that it will work. Uh, but there is a reality that much as we'd like this to be simple, it's not. Uh, this is moving in different ways in different places. Um, we can't have a simple one size fits all approach to the entire country. Uh, because there's no point heading towards you know these type of lockdown scenarios for places where there might actually be very little coronavirus in circulation, while at the same time, for limited periods of time in particular locations, we may have to ask people uh, to be much more careful to do less. We saw what happened in the three counties, uh, Kildare, Leash and Offaly, where the additional restrictions did have a very positive impact on what was otherwise going to be a very serious situation, and I think that gives grounds to, to those who have to lead us through this process to believe that that type of approach is where we need to go. 